Knock, knock. Come and get me, Bubby. Um, you know, a lot of you motherfuckers are handsome. You're handsome. And you need to stop worrying so much about your looks. Alright? Stop worrying about your freaking looks. And just embrace your your handsomeness. Maybe you're a little fat, lose the fat. It's gonna show your freaking your face off a little bit better. You'll fit in the clothes better. You can look more handsome. But um, yeah, dude. Use what you got. I'm telling you, girls are nice, man. Like it's always the guys that never had female interaction that think girls are some alien creatures. They're nice. They're easygoing. Yeah, there's some bitches out there, dude. There's a lot of weird-ass dudes, too, okay? So just freaking get out there and meet some people. You don't need to be cold approaching. A lot of you, like, like don't make a big deal about cold approaching. Let's just change the name. Just call it being a human. And striking up a conversation. You always got to cold approach and get the number. And have a girl invest in you right away. F all that. A lot of times you're going to meet someone at work. Or in a social situation. Or you know in your social circle. At a party. With your buddies. Or with their you know. One of their girlfriends. Or I don't know dude. But like. Stop worrying about your looks. It's, this is a weird thing. To always be worried about your looks. And, and honestly, dude, a lot of these guys on the line, I'm sick of it. Fucking sick. I'm freaking sick of it. Hearing how much these men are obsessed with the affection and attention of women. It makes me freaking nauseous. I was like this maybe when I was, when I was just starting out. With my first girlfriend. But then I quickly learned, like, okay. Okay, sex is great. It's great and all. When you don't have it, it's everything. But when you have it, it ain't all that. Like, it's okay. But, like, really? Re are we still believing in love, dude? Like, are we still believing in that type of love? Like, I'm going to fall head over heels? I don't want to do that. That sounds terrible to me. If I'm head over heels for a woman... What else am I fucking passionate for? More than her. No, dude. No. A woman will never be that for me. I'm not some Disney prince who's going to fall for his little Disney princess. That shit don't exist. Women don't mean that much to me. They're awesome. But you know what's more awesome? Freaking figuring this life out and uh, keeping your eyes on what is true. And, and going about your way and creating something with yourself. That's way more awesome than some puss. And the love of a woman. She's going to love you, dude. Just get on your damn way. She will love you. It'll feel good. I love my girl. I do. I love my girl. I'm going to get married to her next year. Love her. Very awesome woman. But you know what? I could. If she said, F you, Elijah. F you. I would say, baby. <laughs> I would, I would I would not even cry, dude. I would be on my way. I love her, but to love is different. It is different than what you've been told. It is not that emotional. A man's love is not a this this fiery emotion. A man's love is more likened to to care. You know, maybe at first it's that high emotion, and that's just horny, dude. That's horny. Now it's like care, man. I think she's sexy. You know. Mm -hmm freaking sexy, I love you, I want to take care of you, I love you in my life, but honestly, if you got to go, baby, you got to go, daddy's here, and uh, you're either coming with me, or you're not, but that's that, and that that's the reality of it, you got to get to a place where the emotions aren't so hot, so attached to the love of a woman, your life will be way better for it. And that's why so many of these guys do it. It disgusts me. I'll be honest. Like, I'm actually disgusted when I hear guys like, really, dude? You're still dealing with this? You're still, the, you know, I, I'm disgusted. I don't know what else to say. Because, like, you, you haven't figured out a way to get through the mental torture that you 
allow yourself to have from constantly seeking the attention of females and needing love from a woman. What did you like not get love from your mother, dude? That is disgusting to me. Why are guys like this? Grow up, man. Grow up. You stop looking back to your ex. She's living with some other dude. But dude, she was so perfect. Dude, any girl could be perfect. Women change. Women follow you. There was a very uh, clever comment left yesterday in yesterday's video. Very sagacious individual. Said that change, to change all the time is very feminine. I, I agree with that. If you're a man, you're changing all the time. You're constantly changing your beliefs. You're constantly changing. No, are you growing or are you just changing one trend to the next? One belief system to the next? Or are you growing? Changes for women. Women will change. You can meet a girl, she'll change, dude. She will start to form to your beliefs if you are convincing enough, if you are strong enough, if you're if you are a good example, she will conform to you and who you are and your beliefs. She will drop all of the superstitions and all of the the worry and the constant doubt when she feels secure with her man. And they and you love and you love that and you care for her. Then you keep leading the way. Let her feed you with that that feminine love and that energy and freaking, you know, it's okay. I, I hug my girls. Come here, baby. You free. Give her a little smooch. But, you know, that's for a woman to, she's giving me the love too, man. I'm not too attached to it. So I'm not trying to be a hard ass. I'm just saying this is how, this is real life. We're supposed to be guarding the gates. We're supposed to be out there hunting. It's in us, dude. It's freaking in us. To protect, to hunt, to guard the freaking gates because there's wolves outside. And if you're not, you're just laying back. You're not training at all. You're not staying sharp at all. You're not. You're not like using your yourself like for something. Your soul's gonna take a freaking dent, dude. You're gonna. Your soul's gonna take a heavy burden because something's off and knows it. You're just so obsessed with women. So again, listen, I, I know it sounds like I'm being a dickhead. I'm not. It's just the reality of it. Do we even have time for these kind of games? Do we have time for these mental freaking games, dude? Do we have the, the hour to sit back and have all of these? I have so many mental issues. Get over them. Holy shit, man. Get over them. Bro, coach yourself. Why are you allowing yourself to constantly have a mental battle? What is this called? Mental health problems. Okay, if you're super depressed, like, okay, maybe you're clinically depressed. I get it. Get some freaking vitamin D. Overload on the D, man. Mega dose the D. And see if you're going to feel better. Actually, get out there and get some freaking sun on your skin. Stop going to sleep at 2 a.m. every more every night, every morning. Holy shit, dude. We don't got no time for these mental health games. I'm done with it. I'm done. You're done. You don't get to do this, man. You don't get it. I'm talking to myself, too. We don't get it. So no more moping and crying and bitching and moaning and crying. No, we don't allow ourselves to fall into self-pity and doubt and rumination. No, be your own friend, man. Be your own friend. You know, that may be hard, but be your own friend. Take care of yourself. You want the love of someone else, then love your damn self. All right? Put yourself first for a while. Put yourself first. But also, don't close yourself off from other people. Too many of these Sigma weirdos. Oh, I'm, I'm laying low. I'm going rogue. Man, stop that nonsense. But listen, no more. I'm not writing off mental health problems. I'm not saying you don't need to go get yourself diagnosed if you got some serious form of bipolar, ADHD, depression. You know, and you just, you wake up and you're like this. And the world is just black. I, I get it, okay? And I've been through some shit. And I can say that I've been depressed, man. I've been through some heavy shit. But you know what? Fuck all that. Because I don't want to be in that state continually you gotta get out you need money you gotta eat you want to do shit you got one life you're gonna freaking die so grab your nuts 
And let's get going, man. Let's get going. No time for this mental health stuff, right? Like, fix it. No time for what could have, should have, would have been with some other girl. With some long lost lover. You'll get it again. You're young. You're 21 years old. You're tw in your 20s. In your 30s even, dude. Fuck it. There's plenty of girls out there. There's plenty of freaking women out there. You, th like, you are going to get so many opportunities. There's no lack of women out there. You will get the opportunities. Stop having such of this little weird mindset like, oh, I have nothing. Please, sir, may I have some more, dude? You're not a little poor orphan beggar boy. That's it, dude. That's freaking hype, dude. I'm freaking pumped. I feel testosterone in me. Is this testosterone? This is testosterone. I feel high test, baby. High humos. I'll see you guys in the group. Peace.